Defense officials in Tokyo and Seoul are saying that North Korea may have fired a ballistic missile into the Sea of Japan. If confirmed, this would be Pyongyang's first ballistic missile test since the Biden administration took over. So far, the South Korean government has just spoken of an unidentified projectile. The Japanese government says no debris fell within its territory, but the Coast Guard has warned ships not to approach fallen objects. Let's go now to our reporter, Nani Kim Simpontek, where the U.S. force Korea is based. Uh, what is the latest on all this? Uh, yes, it was actually around 7.30 Thursday morning Korea time that uh, when the South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff informed reporters that North Korea has launched unidentified projectiles to uh, the sea between the Korean Peninsula and Japan. Um, due to the launch, South Korean Presidential Office held the Emergency uh, National Security Council meeting, which was usually um, happens Thursday afternoon, but they move it to uh, 9 a.m this morning uh, due to the uh, missile launch. Um, it was not immediately, as you said, that it's um, identified whether it's ballistic missiles or uh, just a normal missile or short missile or long range, mid range. We don't know that yet, but uh, which would be, uh, if it's a ballistic missile, it would be the violation of the UN Security Council resolution. Um, so we, we would need to still find out whether um, it is ballistic missiles or not. And yet, of course, the rest of the world has become quite used to North Korea firing missiles. Does this feel like a significant test for the Biden administration? I mean, it, it just came. Uh, this is the second test uh, within a week. I mean, last weekend, it was just Sunday that North Korea carried the first um, weapons test since the U.S. President Joe Biden took office, uh, launching two projectiles, which... Um, Actually, President Biden does not consider as the provocation. Um, the, but if this is the ballistic missiles, then uh, it, it could be a different story. This could be actually a threat to the U.S. and uh, its allies, uh, South Korea, as well as Japan. Um, so it really needs to, we really need to define um, whether it's ballistic missiles or not. Um, and we really need to, um, I think that the United States have to, probably have to say um, uh, something about the security issues when they find out what kind of missile it is. Um, depends on that, then it could be a kind of message that they are trying to send to the uh, Biden ministry. Nari Kim, thank you very much.